In the 9th century, Phnom Bikang was built as a Hindu temple. It later became a Buddhist place of worship and remains so to this day. As it is still considered holy, workers hold a ceremony when they start and finish working on each section of the structure. In many ways, the deep cultural tradition intrinsically linked to the archaeology here is kept alive and actively sustained by workers on site and at home. ແລະຊາຍັງຖືສາຍຈັ່ງການວ່າ <coughs> These days, workers commute to the site on mopeds, but otherwise maintain a somewhat traditional lifestyle, living in the villages as their ancestors did. The villages are nearly as old as the temples themselves and have been home to generations of stoneworkers whose livelihood depends on employment on site. <laughs> During the Pol Pot regime, villagers were forced to leave their homes. Survivors have since returned rebuilding homes, farms, pagodas, schools, and other aspects of normal life. In 2012, WMF signed a collective bargaining agreement with the Workers' Union ensuring that locals who are engaged in preserving their heritage can support themselves and their families. WMF's conservation work at Angkor is ultimately successful because it is sustained by these villagers living in Angkor, who recognize, care for, and benefit from their treasured heritage.